Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be exporting using DS Control Point. DS Control Point is the client and viewer software for DSSRV 1 and 2, as well as the DS NVS software. To begin, we double click on the DS Control Point icon on the desktop. As always, our system will appear on the left hand side. Now, today we're going to do this two ways. One is by dragging the camera over, right clicking, and selecting Quick Review. This gives us a preset amount of times that we can search for. Once in the search mode, we can click export. In today's example, we'll be using video. Now take a look at this here. We only support three of the formats listed, AVI, EXE, and XPA. Now here's the difference. AVI is what you're going to want to export if you're looking to modify the file, cut out chunks, or make it more presentable. The EXC is going to be our proprietary format that includes the player, and XPA is the proprietary format without the player. So that's the differences. Once we've selected what the format we want, we want to select our location, in this case the desktop, then the amount of cameras we want to export from. Once we do that, we can select where we want to begin the export. In this example, we'll do from the beginning and at the end. Once that's done, click export, and as you can see, the file will show up on our selected location, which in this case is the desktop. Now let's go ahead and do this another way. Let's use the search function built into DS Control Point. To do that, we'll close this view, we'll open up search, we'll click search, and now we can select a specific date and time. Once we drag over our camera, we'll even get video image previews. Now, take a look there. If there is no selected time, we will not see the preview images. Once we select a time, we will see preview images. Selecting time is done by clicking and then dragging the mouse, selecting the designated amount of time. Once that is done, click Next. You'll see here, from this point on, it is the same as when we use Quick Review. We'll select our format, we'll select our save location, and we'll select where in the video we wish to begin exporting video. In this example, let's go ahead and trim it up just a little bit, even though we only did a minute, just to show how we can do that. So here we take our slider and we adjust it to start, and then we adjust it to the end. Once we click Next and then Export, our file will show up on a desktop. Double click that to play the video.